Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. I don't know about you, but I tend to buy washi tape and never use it. So today I wanted to show how you can use it as a background on a tag or as a focal point on a card. So I have a piece of Nina 110 pound cardstock here. I just need it to be bigger than the size that I'm gonna cut for my tag. And so I'm taking the Auto New Cherry Blossom Slim Washi Tape set and I'm going to add stripes of this all along the cardstock. I think it's easier to add the stripes onto the cardstock first and then die cut rather than die cut the tag and then add the washi tape on top but you could do it either way. So I'm just adding in the strips here of the washi tape onto this piece of cardstock, trying to line them up as best as I can for them to be straight. The great thing about washi tape is that if it's not straight, you can lift it up and re reposition a bit, reposition it, excuse me, as many times as you want. So I'm going to go through all of the different colours here. This set comes with four different shades of this beautiful pink, one of my favourites from the Alta New line. And a couple of the pieces do have a few sort of indentation type things in it. And so I'm just making sure to avoid that where I'm going to cut the tag. So I'm trying to leave a gap in between all of the different colours. I think it would look nice sort of adding them directly kind of next to each other. But I thought it would be quite nice to add that small gap as well. So I'm trying to keep the gap fairly even. It's not perfect. I don't think it needs to be perfect. I actually think that although this is all kind of straight lines, I think it does actually work out okay if it's not completely straight, but I'm trying my best. So I'm gonna take the Terrific Tags dies from All To New here, and I'm gonna cut this tag out. So I'm just grabbing some low tack tape, and I'm just gonna do that to the top and the bottom, and then run that through my die cutting machine. And that die cut beautifully. This washi tape does die cut really well. So what I want to do now is just to make sure that those sides of that tag are really well pushed down. And so it did, it did leave a tiny indentation at the top there. And I'm just using the bone folder here just to push that out. And I think it worked out okay in the end. Um, it's not really much of an indentation. And because that washi tape kind of has some give to it as such, you can kind of push those indentations out and then I am going to add another tag onto the back of this one because I want the back to be really nice it does look okay as it is because I haven't kind of added the washi tape behind but I just want to make sure that it looks pretty from the back if I want to write a message on it so just adding another tag there and then I'm going to work on my floral piece that I'm going to add on top so I've got some double-sided adhesive here this is absolutely excellent double-sided adhesive from all to new it's really nice to die cut it die cuts really well and um, but it is a little bit thicker so it kind of gives some substance to the die cuts as well and this is the spring roses die set from Altenew. it's so pretty I really love this die set it's really kind of pretty delicate outlines but you could leave the pieces inside as well and I do also think that that's really pretty so I've cut it twice from the panel that I added the adhesive onto the back and then also cut it once without adhesive on because I know that this is going to overlap the tag and I didn't really want the adhesive onto the back but you could still do it that way and just maybe like add some anti-static powder on the back and that would remove that stickiness but I'm just being really careful here to remove that from the backing all of those little pieces on the inside kind of got stuck to my fingers because the adhesive is showing but they come out really easy easily. I'm trying to keep most of them in place just so that it gives some stability while I'm trying to line them up because I want this to be three high. I thought it would just give a little bit more impact onto the tag if I kind of layered them up. So just being really careful here trying to remove that. It is quite delicate but when you've got those pieces inside like I said it does give it a little bit of stability. So I'm just trying to line those up as best as I can. This adhesive does have a bit of wiggle room. You can kind of move it and lift it up and things like that before you press down and you have got that time to do that, which is nice. And then I'm just going to use the tweezers here just to push out all of those inside pieces. I think actually it would look really pretty keeping those inside pieces in, but I wanted the washi tape to show through them. So just using my bone folder here just to really press all of those layers down together. And then I can add that onto my tag. And for this I am just going to use some Barely Art Glue, just doing tiny little dabs of that. And because this applicator is so thin you can just put tiny dabs on it, but I didn't want to do this three times to add all of the layers together. 
so I'm going to be really careful here so I'm just going to kind of dab off some of the excess glue and then press it down onto the tag I did I really didn't want any kind of seeping out although because it's washi tape it comes off really easily from the washi tape the glue if possible I just didn't really want to have that uh on there so I'm just going to grab some acrylic blocks to help kind of push that down while the glue dries and then I'm going to work on my sentiment so this is the all to new flower vine stamp set and it's got really pretty kind of delicate sentiments in it so I'm just going to grab the one that says just for you and I'm going to stamp that onto some black cardstock. So I'm just prepping my cardstock with an anti-static powder tool, removing the excess with a brush. And then I can ink up the stamp with Alter New Embossing Ink. And then just using the Misty here, just to press that down, just pressing really lightly. And then I can apply some Alter New Pure White Crisp Embossing Powder. And I do like to add this a few times and tap off the excess. And then I'm going to heat set that from the front and the back. And I think heat setting it from the front and the back does help with warping. Although this one did get a little bit warped, I have to admit. And my heat gun wasn't quite heated up enough. Just using a Swiffer cloth to remove the excess powder. And then I can add some instant dimension foam tape from Alter New onto the back of the sentiment. And I just need a tiny little bit inside of that flower uh, that's just going to hold it really nicely this foam tape is really strong and so I found that it held that without any other foam tape so I can add the foam tape in and then add the sentiment on top and I'm just going to overhang that slightly from the side of the tag And then I'm going to take some twine and just tie that around the top of the tag and tie it in a bow at the front And then once I've fiddled with it for about half an hour, <laughs> I'm just going to cut the ends of the strings. And then to finish off the tag, I'm just going to add some small dabs of glue and then add on some iridescent jewels. I just thought it would give a little bit of a sparkle to the tag. And so that's the tag finished, but as part of the Alter New Terrific Tag series, I am showing how you can add tags onto cards because I know that not everyone loves having standalone tags. So I'm grabbing the Alter New Dotted Swirls Debossing Cover Plate. This is such a pretty die. It just cuts tiny little dots into the panel of cardstock and although it's almost impossible to see here on camera it's just so pretty in real life so I'm going to add that onto an A2 sized white card base so that's a finished size of four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches so I'm just going to add some tape runner onto the back of the panel and then I can add that onto the front of the card base I wasn't sure which way round I wanted it to be so just working that out and then I can stick that down And then I just like to reinforce the top there with a bone folder. And then I'm just going to go over the whole card panel with that bone folder as well. Just make sure that that's really well stuck down. And then there was a little bit of excess on the right hand side. And I also wanted to cut the card down just slightly so that it would be four inches across. So that that tiny little bit of the flower well it's actually the leaves of the flower would could overhang the card and then I could still fit it into a standard size card base here I'm just figuring out whether I want to pop the tag up on foam tape or not I think it would look nice either way but I decided just to adhere it down straight onto the card so I'm just adding some tape runner onto the back of the tag as well and then I can stick that down in the bottom right hand corner And then that is the card and the tag finished for today. I'm going to bring in the tag as well so that you can see them side by side. I do love having standalone tags on their own, but I do think it looked really pretty on the card as well. And although the washi tapes 
for the tag kind of look like a background when it goes onto the card it becomes its whole own focal point which i think is really nice links to the products that i used will be in the description bar on youtube and also over on my blog thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon